Hello everyone, my name is Impractical and welcome back to Sonic Speed Simulator. Today is the day we finally get to unlock Chaos Sonic. And not just Chaos Sonic, in no place we also get another round of quests. That's right, the Angel's Voyage quest. Now these quests will get us Black Rose and No Place Style Sonic. Now this is an exciting day in Sonic Speed Simulator because Chaos Sonic is our new super character. That's right, I'm going to be dubbing him as our new super character, but more later on in the video all right let's move on to the roblox shop okay so this roblox shop there's not much here the only thing i could recommend for you guys to pick up here is rusty rose because she has infinite air and be able to survive in no place without drowning and marvelous queen marvelous queen being the only tornado type vehicle that can actually traverse underwater making the completion of all the quests on this list actually pretty quick moving on to quest one quest one is going to be the easiest it's just going through a hundred sky hoops now this is the easiest quest by far you could do this in the no place green hill you could do it all the way in new york city wherever your locale is all those are perfectly good spots in order to complete this quest now once you complete this quest you'll be able to get two sailor chows not really much special they do come with the air buff but again kind of a redundant ability when you have mech characters and you know adventure knuckles being able to survive underwater quest two all right quest two is uh actually it's not that bad it's just destroying 200 egg forcers quest 2 you can actually complete this in new york city it is the best spot to complete it at because all you need to do is just wrap around near the hub area and you'll be able to knock out as many egg forces as you want in a short amount of time now with the completion of this quest we'll be able to get ourselves pirate flag trail which offers dreads insignia it's not a bad trail love the look of it again more air but a redundant ability in my opinion when you have characters that can just breathe underwater unlimited quest three okay so quest three is by far the easiest quest actually i'm pretty sure the last one's the easiest but this one is another easy quest for you guys to complete it's just pop air bubbles now if you have event childs this will work for this quest. Event Childs will actually speed it up a lot. And we're talking about you don't have to physically hit the air bubbles. In fact, you can just go into the quest knocking down with the Marvelous Queen. So, in fact, you can actually farm it a lot faster with Event Childs and Marvelous Queen equipped. This quest is a breeze. Now, on to the longest quest, Quest 4. Okay, so this quest is... Whoo! This quest is pretty lengthy because you're going to have to find 50 hidden treasures. Now, this quest is ooh, if you guys collected at the beginning or at the start of this event, you're going to have a rough time because you're going to have to wait for those chests to reset in order to collect them again. But as for now, you need 50 chests. Now, it doesn't get so bad around 25. After 25 chests, it can get a little tricky because you're gonna have to like revisit some spots and see if you missed any hidden chest now my best recommendation for this is to stick on the paths the natural paths in the no place so once you stick around there and you followed every possible route you can you might want to start looking in the nooks and crannies for all the treasure chests on screen you're gonna see a few of the locations displayed in fact there are more than 50 chests in no place so you guys should be able to complete this in about 30 minutes or so it doesn't take much time to find it because they just end up sticking out if you guys just jump all the way to the top and look at the bottom just float gently down in the no place you should be able to see quite a few chests pretty easily now on to quest 5 now this quest caught me off guard the reason being is because i thought i'm gonna have to be spending about a cup about a i don't know more than 30 minutes probably running around in auto run but no in fact this quest was super quick the event child actually affect this quest, which surprised me because it's never happened before. Now, all you have to do is collect 5,000 chaos orbs. That is a breeze with event child. We're talking the numbers being sped up. It took less than a minute for me to complete this quest, which was well, kind of a letdown considering it's the last one meant to be the final hurdle, you know? But with that completed, we were finally able to unlock No Place Style Sonic. All right, on to the quest that matters, Chaos Sonic. That's right. So for Chaos Sonic, all you need to do is collect 30,000 doubloons. That's it. The caveat to that is event childs do not work for this quest. Trust me, they do not work. Yeah, you're going to see the multiplier factor applied, but it would not count towards this quest. So you're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. That's right, auto-run and auto-clicker. 
That's my recommendation for this because it does take quite a while and I do feel bad for the free to play players who have to do this without an event chow. Speaking of which, Chaos Sonic is now a super character. Well, he is a super character. And what I mean by that is he shares something similar to Super Sonic. It's the plus 25 enchantment. We got a star level six character with another plus 25, this time in Magnet. Now, when Super Sonic was introduced, it was a big shocker because he stand above in his category for XP and stamina. Now, Chaos Sonic stands above his category, which is for rings and magnet, making this the best character in the game for rings and magnet. So for everybody who's needing a magnet character or a ring centric character, here is your focus character right here. And this is going to be my next level star six character I'm going to be working on. I can't believe they actually put Chaos Sonic to be, I don't know, this strong in the game, which is insane. But right now, I'm kind of more excited to see what's the next big bad character we're going to get that's going to be just as strong of a powerhouse as Super Sonic. All right, let's wrap this video up. Thank you so much for everyone who tuned in on the stream on Saturday. I do appreciate it. When the game went live with this update, I had a stream going on. There were a few viewers who joined me, and I'm glad you guys could turn out for the event. It was great talking to all of you, communicating, and you know, getting your interests and thoughts on the game. I was, uh, it was kind of funny to see everyone's opinions on how things change, and glad to get some help actually completing some of these quests. I will let you guys know, those who did miss out, I did a giveaway for two plus five event chows. That's right. I gave away a Crystal Moon chow and a Detective Tales chow. And our winners are going to be right here on the screen. Both uh, Time Master and Wolf are the winners for this stream, which I'm happy to announce. I will be doing more giveaways in the streams. Not every stream is going to be a giveaway, but some will. And I'll probably give out some special chows or trails that most players will find, you know, hot commodity, something that you guys would really want to use in the game. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.